Hello, hello, hello. Hello, everyone. How's everybody doing today? Um, yes, how are you doing? <laughs> good. Good. Right. So today we are going to um, talk about tips for brides. Okay, these are unusual tips, but tips that, um, you know, we've gathered from some of our experiences and uh, we're going to share with, uh, you know, future brides and these tips will help mitigate a lot of the errors or a lot of the obstacles that um, prevent you from getting the best pictures on your wedding day. So uh, my name is Salom, uh, photography name uh, Meek Photos, and I'm excited to be uh, here today um, by Evans. Welcome. Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Evans, um, Evermore Media. Um, I do weddings, events, um, that kind of stuff both photos and videos, as well as live streams. So um, you're going to have to go through this and have some fun tonight. I always like to talk about weddings because that's what you I do. You're doing like most, every day so. now. <laughs> 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 that's what I do the most. So yeah. it's easier for me to talk about that kind of stuff. So it's yeah, going to be exactly. a fun show. <laughs> Sweet. All right. All right. Well, uh, hello. Yep. Um, thanks everyone for jumping on. Yeah. For our regular people, thanks for jumping on, and uh, it's going to be a good show. I know nothing about this topic, so I'm going to be learning a lot today, and uh, and I think that's just the power of the show because we all have different uh, skill sets that we can all kind of learn from. So it's going to be good. If this is your first time watching the show and you wonder why there's five dudes on here, that's because we all have YouTube channels. So I'm pretty sure Meeks put all of our links in the description, and we all do photography-based content. Uh, I do photography, I do vlogs, I do documentaries, I do small business interviews so if you're into that and this is your first time watching us go check me out go check these guys out i'm 590 subscribers away from a thousand so if you want to be subscribed before 11 and cement your place in history please do and uh we're also going to be announcing the winner of the five dollar dollar store challenge at the end of the show because we like to make people wait and uh, it's gonna be good so what's the prize again brian I wasn't even ready to talk yet. It wasn't yeah. my turn. Uh, the, the prize is a $50 gift card of the winner's choosing. That's 50, like 50 Canadian. That's, that's, Five real, zero. Money. that's real money. So what we do yeah. at the end, and also if the people that submitted want to come on and chat for a minute or so about their submission, we'd love to have you on to do a little, give a little backstory because I think uh, it's worth it because you guys all crushed it. And uh, yeah, that's it. So uh, I'll hand over to Mr. McGowan. Hello, hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Brian McGowan, uh, Brampton, Ontario-based photographer and videographer. Uh, like all the other guys here, I have a YouTube channel, uh, do some photography and some ghost hunting and things like that. Just having fun. Anyway, uh, let's uh, let's learn about weddings here because I don't shoot weddings either yet. So this will be interesting. Anyway, uh, Andre, take it over. What's up, everybody? Uh, my name is Andre Von Nickish, also from Brampton. Uh shoot weddings people everything and all that fun stuff like painting and steel wool photo video just everything so yeah fire, fire. oh yeah fire too fire. but i don't like get burned show. that much like this oh, show we're on fire <laughs> <laughs> all right all right so uh first of all my apologies um not everybody's link is in the description yet but <laughs> but in a few minutes they're going to be YouTube on guy. there okay they're gonna be on there uh i'm, I'm slowly i'll just, just add myself i'll just add myself i'm slowly getting back into the the, the swing of things okay so all right rookie so, uh, come on paul <laughs> paul's not gonna let me okay all right so uh we have quite a i have quite a few things uh listed here but um again uh any of you can jump in. Uh, most of these uh, are just my point of view, and uh, any of you can jump in because you are all um, good photographers. So uh, nice. I'm going to start with uh, number one. Number one is keeping the dressing area tidy, wherever you are getting ready, at, if it's at a hotel or whatever, you know, uh, mm. before the photographer knocks the door and comes in or the videographer comes in. Um, try to make sure you clean up as much as possible. Uh, usually, uh, you know, you spend the night there with, uh, you know, 
your friends, you know, who are in the bridal party and stuff, and then stuff all over the place sometimes. Um, it's it will be great to make sure you clean all that up and have uh, the place clear and as plain as possible. Um, it, if 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 you can make it such that where you're seated is closer to a window, that will also help a lot. Right. Okay. Anybody wants to add to this? Natural light for natural light. Natural light, yes. Uh, yeah, and I, 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 the natural light is good, but um, for me, yes, natural light is good. Uh, but the point you just made that gets me the most is the cleanliness of the of the area, right? Mm -hmm. Um, that's what's going to show up in the photos. And so some of us who've done this for a long time, sometimes we know what to look out for and remove it. Uh, but some photographers just wouldn't care, right? They just shoot them because that's what they met. They're not going to spend the time to clean up the place for you. So it's good for your own, you know, uh, reference and memory where you get the photos to try to clean, keep that area clean as, as you're doing the makeup and stuff like that. So I think it's a really key point. Good point. Anybody wants to add anything else to that? Um, no, I don't know. Yeah, it, it, it makes sense because if you have, I guess, like a messy area, it's sort of like distracting, right? For like the person that's looking at the photo, like right, there's right, stuff, right. There's, there's there's clothes everywhere. There's like makeup everywhere. It's like what am I supposed to be looking at? So. I see your point about keeping it tidy. Also, like the same thing can apply for like product photography, right? You want like a nice tight kind of backdrop, flat lay, whatever it is. Like you want you want to lead the viewer to exactly where you want the viewer to look and not have the viewer look at, you know, just stuff on the outside that doesn't really mean anything. So it's all these like little small details, right? That really kind of adds up. I think from from a general photography point of view. A nice big window just gives you so many options mm -hmm. uh, for backlighting, for front lighting, for side lighting. It just gives you so many right. options. You don't have to worry about setting up flashes and making right. sure your powers are right and everything. You've just yeah. got this large, constant, soft light source that just yeah. works really well for so many shots. Yeah. Big windows. Thank very, you. very well said. Um, Brian, yeah, I, I like off-camera flash, but when... I'm shooting a wedding in the morning. I'm not wasting too much time setting up off camera flash unless I'm very early and uh, you know you guys are super on time and everything is almost done. If I have time like that, I, I might play around. But what happens is when the place is all set up and ready to go, you want to catch some of those natural moments when maybe a friend walks in or the mom, you know, walks in. Uh, those moments you don't plan them. So when everybody's excited and you are getting those candy shots, um, you know, most of them will be usable. But if you have, you know, underwear laying around and stuff, it's really hard to, you know, go edit uh, pictures and get all that out. Yeah. So. One, one thing I always see uh, most people just leave around is gift bags and shoe boxes and yeah. all this stuff all over the place um, in the place where you're supposed to be taking the pictures off. Right. And um it's it's really it gets distracting sometimes. People clean up after yourself. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Point number two. So, number two. Um, hairstylists and makeup artists should dress appropriately to be possibly featured in your wedding photos. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is this is a game from experience. Not once, not twice, several times. Um, when I say appropriately, um, I mean they should be presentable. Okay, um, it's again, again. Th this is just a personal preference. Uh, I could, you could easily get pictures without showing the hairdresser or the makeup artist. You could get close-ups, maybe just show their hands and stuff. But that limits you, to, uh, and you might not be able to get some of the, um, um, you know some of the natural moments, but if they are well-dressed and they just kind of blend in and they are not wearing something that's too revealing and you know, you're worried about all that, uh, then it makes the work a lot easier. Anyone else have any experiences? Oh. Yeah. 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 And I think that it's, it's also good. There's two things I want to add to that. I don't know that line. The first one is it's also good sometimes 
Um, I advise my clients most of the time to let their wedding uh, makeup artists and hairdressers know that there's a possibility they're going to be in the pictures. Because I've had some makeup artists and stuff come to me and say, oh, can you not capture me in the images, right? Mm -hmm. uh, for that day, I'm there for the client, not you. So whatever makes the image that I want to yeah. present to the client, I'm going to mm -hmm. do it. Right, so I always tell uh, my clients make sure that your hairdressers and your makeup artists are aware that there's a possibility they're going to be in the images, right? Um, Sometimes you can catch some really genuine emotional moments in those yeah. times. In those you don't want to yeah. have to pass them up, just right. because, exactly. because somebody's wearing a ratty yeah. t-shirt. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the the other thing that gets me the most along makeup artists, especially timelines. Yeah. is that um, during the getting ready sessions, um, for some reason, I've seen some weddings where they leave the bride for last, <laughs> right? Uh, I always been telling them that try to get the bride at least first or on time because um, in most of the times what people realize is that I'm at a hotel, the photographers and the videographers are at the hotel with you getting, they're getting ready shots. But they have to be able to get back to the wedding venue and start setting up and prepping for your arrival um, for the ceremony, right? And so mm -hmm. they have to leave ahead of you guys to be able to get there on time. And every time where the makeup artist is waiting to do the bride last, it makes it harder to um, get the shots that you want to get for the bride on time. Because sometimes you know that it gets to the point where you are rushing it. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, so I always tell them try to get the bride's makeup either started early or get it done on time so they can get this in enough time to be able to get better shots of the bride getting ready. Uh, sometimes I also like to get shots of the bride with some of the bridesmaids, uh, the family members, the mom and dad, uh, or the, especially the mom helping the, the bride to get ready in her dress and stuff like that before I leave. So I don't want the makeup to be so late that i'm gonna have to rush and leave because now they're running behind time mm -hmm. and that then happens a lot at most weddings so now i keep trying to encourage my clients that try to make sure that the makeup for the bride is getting done on time or have a separate makeup artist for the bride separate from the who is ever going to do all the bridesmaids and all that stuff mm. good point Good point. Good point. That's a lot of experience speaking there and frustration. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool. Okay. I would think it. Uh, are we ready to move on to the next one? Go for it. All right. Let's go. Three. You guys. You guys need to slow me down before I exhaust all my points here. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so, the next point here is open all clothing boxes before the day of the wedding. Now, this might sound like something like, duh, everybody does that. But if I tell you that I've seen this more than four times, where especially with the groomsmen, they don't open the boxes. They don't try on the shirts because they ordered a shirt from Alibaba or somewhere. Um, you know, the shirts are like five sizes smaller than they are. Or it has the, the folds in them where the lines are very strong lines and we don't have any iron there to iron the shirts. Um, so last minute, stuff like that, try to avoid it at all costs. Like open every box, try everything on. Um, if you have to mail it, usually I know sometimes uh, the bridal party comes from different parts of the country. If you have to mail everyone's item to them, that also comes at a risk. Someone will forget and not bring it. <laughs> <laughs> so you just have to start early. You just have to find a way to start early and make sure everything is open and checked and, you know, uh, before the day of. That's got to suck to have your shirt small the day of the wedding. Oh, my. That's got to that's just be a nightmare. <laughs> oh, man. But, but it's guys, the trick, right? Guys don't really check. Yes, the trick to that is, and I have done this, shirt was so small that, the guy couldn't button it. I just took a scissors and I cut the back. I cut it all the way up close to the collar. Yeah. yeah. And it, it fits. So the front looks fine. <laughs> Only if he doesn't take, take off his suit. Don't take off the jacket. Keep the jacket on. Don't take off the jacket. The jacket You'll be all right. You'll be all right. You know what? I don't wear that jacket all day. You have to wear it all day. 
Man. One other thing that well, I don't have in here, which I should have, is um, as a photographer, right? You should always carry safety pins. But mm-hmm. as a bride, you definitely should have safety pins. Have a bunch of them with you. Because um, I have done weddings where some of these outfits were handmade outfits and they were very thin. And then, you know, maybe bridesmaids go to sit down and then you hear a rip and it rips. Uh, mm. You know, so those safety pins can hold the dresses together. Some dresses are also too big, so you can temporarily fold them and hold them together mm-hmm. and take pictures from angles that will now reveal the, the, the safety pin and the pictures mm. will still look great. So those things come in handy a lot of the time. Yeah, expect safety the pins or even clips. Basically. Sorry, I didn't like Expect the unexpected and be prepared exactly. to deal with it. Exactly. Yep. Yeah, that that safety pin trick saved me uh, like twice in the last month. <laughs> you know, I took that tip from Mix a while back, and I started keeping um, safety pins. So I have a box of safety pins in my in the, one of the pockets of my camera bag, and twice it's coming in handy within the last month. One was at my sister in law's wedding, um, and then once at another wedding too, and I had to use those pins for uh, one of the bridesmaids. <laughs> nice. Yeah. You All lost right. your mic. You lost your mic. Yeah, he turned it off, I, think, I believe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay. Well, number the four? next point, number four. Uh, you put on the banner. You put on the banner. Look at that. I kind of like that better. Oh, uh, yeah, look, that is a banner. Oh, let's see. You put it on the roll. You put it on the rolling thing. Let, let's try it and see. Kind of okay. looks more. There we go. Well, well it's pro, okay, okay yeah. but it's not. It's not as big as the other one. But yeah, Five okay. Day into. <laughs> yeah, you just gotta wait for it to. Like the stock market ticker. Like what is there it? There you go. <laughs> so this might sound very uh, mundane, but it, you know, people have plans. Like the bride will tell you, "Oh, when I finish dressing." I want to do this or I want to do that. Um, yeah. And they have all these fabulous plans, but they haven't really uh, de- uh, planned it with the time that they have. So at the end of the day, you realize that, okay, this person is not done with the makeup. This person is not done with this. And you only have 10 minutes before the ceremony and you haven't taken any picture by yourself. Uh, your dad is coming to do the first look. So then they get really stressed. And when you get stressed, nothing good ever happens <laughs> you start getting mad at people so easily and so plan your day like you are um I, I don't even know what word to use here but be very meticulous every every 15 minutes if you plan it that way it's it will be really hard to go bad because what will happen is that when you are, you start being delayed you notice it much early and then you start trying to make up for that instead of planning it for like an hour or two hours so and while I'm at this, I know I'm gonna probably gonna forget. This might be like a, a no-brainer, but please, please finish your makeup before you wear your wedding dress. Please mm. finish your makeup before you wear your wedding dress. And if you have, if you are in already in your wedding dress, I hope your makeup artist has like an apron or something, because um, I have had to clean up liquid foundation from a white wedding. <laughs> Oh, on a wedding day. <laughs> so, oh. yeah. All right. Anybody want to add to that? <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to add to the time management aspect, right? Um, if if you if you have a wedding planner, um, make sure that wedding planner knows what you're doing and they are keeping track of what is happening at what point. Um, right. And especially for the videographers, um, the wedding planner should be coordinating. With the photographer and the wedding and the photo, uh, videographer, and letting them know what is happening or at any t- point in time, uh, because what happens is that sometimes the photographer, the videographer doesn't know all of the activities that is planned, <laughs> and maybe you have a special dance or something, and all of a sudden somebody is there dancing, and now the photographer or the videographer is rushing to focus on that dance, right? Whereas if he knows that there's going to be this particular performance or this particular event happening at this time, uh, he can be prepared for that, right? Uh, Because 
we not we have all the traditional stuff, the regular stuff we do at weddings. But I have some weddings where they have have it. They're doing um, special performances or s- stuff that is outside of what we traditionally do. And it's important that you alert the photographer and the videographer ahead of time on these kind of things. Um, the the if you don't have a wedding planner, it's always important as, as well just to maybe have one of the bris- bridesmaids or a sister or somebody like that. Uh, kind of on the day of just tell the photographers things and maybe point out certain important members of the family, right? So that the photographer or the videographer is, is aware that these people are maybe close family members that needs, you know, some kind of a little bit of attention in making sure that you get them in some of the shots as well, outside of the group shots that you're going to do anyways. Cool. Makes sense. Mm-hmm. Cool, cool, cool. Any anyone else want to add anything? Yeah. No. No. Move on. I don't have much to add for for this one. Okay. All right. So the next one here, um, again, is also pretty obvious. But here's the thing: what happens is that on the day of your wedding, you are just so paranoid about everything that you spend excessive time on certain things, and if you don't plan for other things, you just they just slip your mind. But some things are very minor, but they can have a major effect, uh, you know, on your wedding pictures. Twenty years after your wedding, um, it's very likely your video might not even be available, but your pictures will still be available. So, what do you again, mean? Pay attention to pictures. <laughs> Go ask all those who got married twenty years ago who have their who wedding on the VCR. <laughs> Ask how many of them are still married. Yep. <laughs> Some of them are yeah. decayed. The tape itself has oh. decayed. So. We gotta okay. DVD. So that was Feed leading the- up to, to this point. Feed the bridal party. So if you are looking at those pictures 20 years from now, you would not remember that they woke up at 6 a.m. and they had not eaten anything, you know, by 11. And here's a photographer who was in their face with a camera asking them to smile. And sometimes, you know, once they are full, they 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 are faster they actually work faster and you know everybody's cheerful and it's very easy uh you know to get them into poses and stuff like that so as for the food you know make sure just, just don't keep it in sight don't don't keep it uh in sight but make sure that there's enough food for uh the bread out party that just reminded me of that commercial i don't i don't remember what it was is it old henry's or something oh, yeah. snickers Snickers, yeah. I think. So. Oh, there you go. <laughs> you when you're, you're not yourself when you're hungry, right? Sure. <laughs> that's people are easier to get along with if they're not angry. That, that's yeah, just it. Don't, that, yeah, don't be true. angry. Don't get, be keep, angry. Keep the hangry away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Good tip, though. All right. Um. Okay. Let's get to the next one. Uh. Where is the next one? Let's see. We also have like uh, point number four still rolling on, on the back. Yeah. Oh, point yes. number four is still going there. Oh, we do. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, so we, we we forgot to tell the viewers that there's uh, you're gonna announce the the winners at the end. Oh, you did. did. I did it. I did it. Okay. Yep. Yes. That's what they're here for, man. <laughs> good job. Good job. Good job. There we go. See, there we go. Um. All right. So this one. So I was at a wedding here. Let me put it up real quick. We'll hide this one. I was at a wedding and then, um, you know, I was, I mean, I charged a decent amount and I was paid to be the photographer for the wedding. And once I got there, I started shooting and then a lady, (laughs) <laughs> a lady walks in with a camera, with, you know, full set camera. Uh, if it had been a Nikon, I might not have been as mad, but it was it was a camera. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so you knew what? the pictures were going to be better than yours. That's what you're Jealous. saying. Jealous. <laughs> oh. so she, she, she walks in with a, with a strap and everything, and... You know, so the bride was like, oh, this is my friend. Uh, we work together. And I found out that she's a photographer recently. Uh, so, uh, you know, she's also going to get pictures. Right away, I was going to say, um, so long as she doesn't get in my way, right? 
And but but then I took a deep breath and I'm like, you know what? It's too early to start any form of um, I don't know hostility. Uh, but that was not a good time to confront her as well. Sometimes you have to use wisdom, right? Because even though my contract clearly said, if, if anybody is going to shoot, let me know in advance, because I'll tell you if I'm bringing a second shooter or an assistant and all that. Um, you know, so what I did was, whenever I'm taking a picture and she comes to stand beside me, I would stop taking the picture. I'll put my camera down, face it downwards, and because people are looking all over the place. And I'll be like, oh, let me know when, when you're done. So I did that to her a few times, and then she she kind of got the message. Whenever I go to take a picture, she doesn't come and stand behind me. So, um, and then when I'm in charge of the shot, I make sure I tell everybody, look here, everybody look here. I wait for all through the phones, whatever. When they are done, I'll take my picture. And we don't have enough time, and I'm the one who is paid to be there. So it's really hard to deal with, but, uh, you know, brides need to... Uh, make sure that they make the photographer aware before they bring another photographer in because yeah. she really got in my way quite a few times at the ceremony because she wanted to be in the middle to get the perfect <laughs> shot and that was when i actually had to talk to her like look okay uh this is what when i go i'll come out and give you a few minutes to go and get a few but I, you don't i don't have to deal with that on the day off so uh take that into consideration uh that's brian you want, me to, you want me to show that yeah that's my photo and that's okay. coming in. That's coming into what we're talking about. I'm, I'm the one. I'm the one being paid. These people decided to go around from the back and yeah. take their pictures. And I'm like thinking in my head, "Fine, I'm just taking the shot. You're going to be in the photo. I'm not photoshopping you guys out. That's too bad. That's what you're getting." And that's a nice background too. And it was yeah, a lake. They, they really nice grass, right? bushes, lake. And I'm like. Sometimes you just have to deal with it, take the shot, and let the bride and groom get mad at those people. So yeah, so, yes. you can't, so for, you for can't those of you who have seen my my wedding contract, I, I I had this happen to me so many times that I have included it in my wedding contract. Mm -hmm. That yeah. if you don't like the shots because your guests get in my way, that's your problem. So I've made it still clearly in there that I'm going to be the exclusive photographer for the event. Right, which if means I remember your contract correctly, you also state that as the bride, you should be telling your guests that you want them there to en to enjoy to the enjoy wedding. it and yeah. not to come in. <laughs> so I specifically said that in my contract, just because it's happened so many times, and I've had mm -hmm. guests come to me, oh, but you saw this, all oh, this is the people are in the background, and this, and I'm not looking. I'm so yeah, because you've got four or five people with cameras. And everybody's looking at a different angle. Not you, though. Not at me, who's uh, supposed yeah. to be the main photographer. Right? So I have stated it right in there, uh, nicely and politely, that but these firmly. are the stuff that I want to <laughs> look out for. <laughs> but there's nothing wrong with being firm in the contract. Yeah. Like, just yeah. So I, say, I just got to make sure that in be. my contract, I'm firm, and we all had an understanding of what is happening that day. Yeah. Right? Because... If I'm shooting and I need to bring an extra photographer or two extra photographers, I will. But I'm responsible for them and their positioning and all that stuff, right? Mm -hmm. We're asked that if you're having your guests come in, especially with big cameras and they're taking pictures as if they're the official wedding photographers interfering with my work, you may not get what you're expecting or what you paid me for. But that's not my fault. No. Mm -hmm. right. It's frustrating, man. Yeah, well said. True, 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 true. That's always Uncle addition. Bob, man. Uncle always Bob. Addition. Uncle <laughs> Bob. Oh. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, all right. But like, but, yeah. no one, but like no one thinks about the photographer. Like the casual person at the wedding doesn't think about the photographer, right? Yeah, I've, I've had um, guests that would stand up and especially for video, right? Sometimes I have a, a second camera stationary. Um, whilst I'm on a gimbal, I have a second st camera station just to get a, a second angle to fill in some stuff. Mm -hmm. And people will get up and see the camera there, but st stand right in front of it. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, uh, no worst. Yeah, but uh, these days, some uh, weddings, uh, they are very big on 
hashtags and they encourage people to take uh, you know phone Cell pictures phones, and yep. share it with on a yeah. particular hashtag so they can have all the pictures right. so it, it can be done in a controlled manner mm -hmm. but definitely what i've realized is I, I would show some pictures but i know that some of them might be watching so i'm not going to show <laughs> is you know sometimes when the bride is coming down the aisle that that silent moment you can't be yelling at someone to put their phone away whatnot you have to tell them beforehand because yeah. they just yeah. take the phone out to take those pictures and there's so many of them with their phones out and you know all that it just doesn't look good so all right mm -hmm. um the next up the next one here is cocktail, cocktail. oh that's 100 percent important now. okay uh <laughs> i think i should add um well Evans, what was the word? <laughs> Appetizers. Right? Appetizers. Or dirs. So I, I was asking him how to spell or dirs. See? I'm waiting for that that other word. <laughs> See, Paul knows it. Or dirs. <laughs> Guys, appetizers. I, I, I go for the easier word. Appetizers. There you go. Smart. That, that, that's smart. That's how you that's how you roll. <laughs> that's a good way to roll. So okay. guys, those appetizers, if you can afford it, okay, of course. I know everybody's uh wedding, you you might have a budget also. See, if you cannot afford appetizers, don't have a long wedding. It's very simple. You know, keep it nice and short. But if you're gonna have a really long wedding, have a ceremony somewhere, have a reception somewhere, uh, you should get appetizers. This is what appetizers, uh, this is what it helps with, guys. Because whoever is coming to your wedding probably traveled and they spend a long time at the ceremony. They spend um, so much time there. And from the ceremony, they are trying to get a place at the reception. So nobody really stops to eat before they go to a wedding reception. And sometimes the reception halls these days, they like to hold the people outside. And uh, so that whenever the the uh, bride and grooms come they can come inside the empty hall and get a, a picture of of themselves with the decoration it's a well it's a popular thing in pennsylvania but i realized that it's not that popular here in texas here in texas people just eat they just let them eat <laughs> so, yeah, it's, so it's, that's not, it's not that popular here too <laughs> i sometimes popular. do it specifically request to do that right uh, but it's not popular down here too well, yeah, sometimes too, it's just that the, you get to the reception and things are not ready. The place is not ready to go. So people are waiting outside. Now, whenever these people are finally allowed inside and maybe they did not get to eat, right? Uh, it's very hard for them. Not, not that it's very hard. Like when you are going around taking pictures, people just look gloomy. And, you know, you want people to cheer the bridal party in. You want people to be... Um, uh to be happy and and show it and it's really hard to show it when you haven't eaten anything since um you know 12 p.m and it's it's 7 p.m when the reception is about to start so again just like just like in the morning okay appetizers are also important 100 percent. All, right. all right let's see all right so this next point uh i'm gonna space out the entrance of the uh, bridal party um you know how they call uh, well there are several weddings that i've realized that there's there's a lot of people right and they try to they delay so much elsewhere and then when they are calling in the bridal party they just call them back to back to back to back mm -hmm. and what happens is that they don't space them out properly and um with that it's you do get pictures but you don't get the best pictures of every couple that comes in and dances right or whatever they do when they decide to come in but when you space them out properly uh your photographer is able to get great pictures of the entrance of each one and make sure make sure that there's absolutely nobody in front of the bride and groom when they are being called in make sure the floor is clear and you know they call them and everybody expects them so definitely don't add them to the bunch. Yeah. I I usually yeah. just walk up to the DJ or the MC yeah. uh, before the the walking starts and just tell him, you know, try to take your time. Um, mm -hmm. don't rush them in, take your time, let them let them enjoy. Because uh if if 
you know, I, I've seen some, if you've seen an African wedding before, they like to dance right, uh -huh. when they do the entrance. So I always say, give them enough time to dance in, right? And one of them can probably take three to five minutes, dance their way in, into the hall. And that gives you enough time to <laughs> get as many shirts as you can. Uh, but where, whereby they are just walking straight up and walking really fast and going to sit down straight, sometimes it's challenging to get shots. And sometimes you get shots that are out of focus because they are, they're kind of rushing through it. Mm -hmm. um, so, but when they take their time and walk gently or dance, you know, in at a, you know, slow pace, right. uh, you get better pictures that way. Huh. Plus it makes for good video stories too. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> Good tip, Mix. All right. Next one. Indeed. Oh, this is Again. the most important. It Again. should be number one. It Again. should be number one. <laughs> it's, listen, sometimes, guys, uh, you know, you pay your photographer. He's there to give it his best, okay? But you know mm -hmm. that he could he could go above and beyond, right? Not everybody <laughs> has it in their DNA to always go above and beyond. But if you feed them that nice hot meal... Okay, yeah. if they if they have to do the crate challenge and be on top of a crate to get that shot, he'll yeah. probably get up there <laughs> <laughs> and get the shot for you. Okay. Give him yeah. a plate. Right. Um, so again, Give I, him a plate I, before before the wedding starts. Right. Like when like, Not, when should the person eat? <laughs> well, the uh, the vendors. Uh, uh, I believe the best time the vendors should eat is see whenever you're going to send people out to eat. The vendors should be the first ones to eat, the very first ones you feed. That right. way, they are done eating. They uh, they have the cameras in hand because they're not going to be taking any pictures while people are eating, right? Yeah. Uh, but you want them to be ready as soon as everyone is done eating. When maybe the cake cutting or something is happening, you want them to be ready. You don't want them to now be running from their table to grab a camera and all that. So feed them first. But I've realized that most people don't do that. So what I do is I don't joke with my food. So I walk up to the uh, <laughs> the kitchen <laughs> yeah. very early on and I tell yeah. them that, okay, I, this is this. I don't need a table or anything. You can serve me, uh, you know, and then whenever they release people to eat, I'll come and pick my plate right here. And sometimes they'll be looking at me weird, but when you go in with an, enough confidence, they, they actually don't argue with you. <laughs> 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 I think it's very important that that piece is critical feeding the vendors first because uh, what I realized at some weddings is that at some weddings um, I usually don't shoot during when people are eating but I've seen that at some weddings especially when they are pressed for time they tend to mix the speeches with when people are eating yeah so mm -hmm. when people are eating in some ways, they start calling, some of the MCs will start calling for the speeches and stuff. Yeah. Um, so it's better to have the photographers eat first mm -hmm. so that in case they decide to call for speeches while people are eating or because the food is taking too long to come out and you want to do something in, whilst waiting, that photographer is ready to be able to shoot. Right. So mm -hmm. very important. Yeah. Feed, feed the photographer should be number one, Mix. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And photographers, yeah, don't don't take pictures of people with food in the in their mouths. <laughs> no, no. That, that's just no. a terrible, terrible look. Uh, uh, especially yeah, video, video of people Ooh, chewing. One, 120. Oh, yeah. You got a 120 of that. Oh. Uh, yeah, and doing, the, like, and this... one of those weird ASMR videos or something. Yeah. It's something uh -huh. like that, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> and, and when they uh, do the speeches while people are eating, if it's one of those, you know, fancy places where they are eating with plates and actual spoons, the noise in the video is just ah, uh, it's just really hard to get out. I yeah. I have a hard time with that piece though, the eating time. It's not not for my wedding videos, but for the live streams where I have uh, clients that want to stream the whole event, right? Oh. Mm. And that includes the speeches and the eating part. Oh, Sometimes you get to watch us eat really live. Hard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just to yes. tilt the camera up to the to the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> what I do is sometimes if I if I if if I'm doing the photos and videos, if I'm responsible for both the photos and videos, and I happen to do an engagement shoot with the couple, then I usually have a slideshow 
that I play for the online people at the beginning whilst they're getting ready before um, mm. this whole ceremony starts. So I usually have that maybe three to five minutes slideshow that I let to play and loop online until I'm ready to go live uh, with the live feed of the in place. So sometimes I use that Clever. to fill in at some points during the eating. Um, at other times, all I do is just have a very wide angle shot of the room and leave it there like that because <laughs> people are eating. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. If it's really wide, then they, they might not be able to see. Yeah. If one is wider, it's like they don't really see people's they, faces yeah. directly. If they really want live of them eating, just put a 70 to 200 on the bride and groom. Mm. Yeah. See how, <laughs> see how much they see want that. live of them eating then. <laughs> uh, <laughs> crazy. <laughs> All right, so this point right here, um, I think we're past like 11 points, but I stopped numbering at some point. So <laughs> so this point uh, is not for everybody, okay? It's uh, for people who want to create some something um, extra in the night. Um, one popular thing with uh, one of my photography groups that I've been a part of for a while, wedding photography group, is um, they've been trying to get uh, pictures with fireworks in the background and mm. also with the bride and groom so you know everyone had to learn the red curtain sink and you know so um talk with your photographer if you want to see if he or she wants to set up something in the night and get some cool night photography shot plan it everything should be planned it, don't just find a That's random right. time to sneak, sneak out so you can <laughs> say okay maybe right after the cake cutting or what now we're gonna go and do it that way it doesn't uh you know everybody yeah. remembers and you're able to get it done and you can get some yeah. alone time by then everybody's tired no no family member will come out in the dark with you <laughs> so, Uncle Bob coming out? <laughs> no no i got bob sleeping Uncle Bob's flash is probably sleep. not strong enough to work <laughs> out there so yeah. Uh, so yeah, this is this, this is mainly for uh, photographers yeah. that uh, would like off camera flash. Yeah. 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 All right. The audience uh, wants you to show some photos, mix. Oh, the audience wants to see some photos. Yeah, from you, like your personal collection. Oh man. Okay. Well, w while I try to find some photos, um, or maybe uh, Evans has something lying around. Yeah, I have some. Let me I'm gonna see if I can pull quick. up some stuff. You guys have quickly. any any tips? You guys have any um All right, let me see here. I'm actually editing a nice one right put now. Up. Put it up. Drum roll. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna pull up some old ones yeah. first. Oh, some oldies. Some oldies first. All oldies. right, share a screen. Uh, mm. Brian. A moment. Brian was tearing up. Jeez. <laughs> Hopefully, that's a good cry. <laughs> oh, okay. What am I doing? Uh, Guys, don't invite Paul to your wedding. <laughs> don't, do it. Uh, don't invite Paul to your wedding. Don't do it. Yeah. Let me see what else am I going to show you here. This is mother son um mm -hmm. i have this in here so this picture did i use a flash or not uh this looks more like a natural light mm -hmm. but it looks like you have some sort of a chandelier or something where you're dancing yeah so mm -hmm. if you look carefully there there's a flash but it's very very mild and very low power and it's only pointed towards Hair, hair. It was on the far uh, left side. Uh, yeah. It looks like a kind of like a. I think it's you've had the power really low, uh -huh. so it looks like some sort of um, available light 
falling right because i was trying to get the ambience of the room as well yeah so yeah. Uh, of course right. the flash had to be low enough for that um, oh shot man I like that thank you thank you uh this one you guys have probably seen this one already mm. yeah like this that. was okay. in a hotel lobby and of show. course this is what i would talk about um while the stuff was going on the eating and dancing was going on you know we snuck out to the lobby to get some pictures it was dark out there but i got a chance to play with some some light did you use two flashes on that one right yep two flashes <clears throat> um, i see like a rim light on this one too yeah you see the the yep. the rim on the side here yeah on the side of the face and then the side of the um yeah shoulder there it's cool yeah nice. they're like a royal team man <laughs> yep. and this this is what was on the um uh thumbnail this was mm. actually shot with one of my old tokina lens tokina 100 manual lens guys <laughs> <laughs> don't do it <laughs> don't do it oh well, yeah for, could... for a portrait shoot it can be great i don't know about the high speed of a wedding though right right yeah. but yes but on a portrait we... shoot an old lens will just give you a totally different quality true we we had this couple plan they said that we had two hours for pictures wow so when it happens like that you make the that's not time. normal yeah you've nope. got time to do a lot of stuff then exactly yeah. yeah this picture um not my best because the feet look like they were cut off uh mm -hmm. but the emotion was kind of um real so. solid beard solid beard game there oh you saw a oh, beard beard game yeah beard game, man. the beard game is strong there the ocd in me is crying because they're not perfectly centered oh, oh we have pictures <laughs> how do you know you guys were showing stuff there you go all right i'm yeah, trying to nice. get it into the back end of my website that so i've been trying to build forever because i have some wedding pictures that i uploaded there. <laughs> get in there get in there is that your new st storage device <laughs> yeah no um i'm I, I take the site down i'm trying to rebuild it i've got it to the point where i have some wedding galleries put up mm. it hasn't gone live yet but for some reason I'm so with this one, great shot. Obviously, I'm where I am, but all I did was take a flash with the trigger, put it on the ground, point it up. So I'm just kind of moving with the the couple to make sure yeah. the flash is always behind, yeah. and so you get that cool effect. And uh, nice, cool, you man. don't always get enough time to play like this, but when you do, do it. Uh, Weddings are usually very fast and you don't always get as much time as promised to shoot with yeah. everybody. I don't get upset about it. If you don't give me enough time, you don't get it as many photos. <coughs> that's, uh, that's basically how it is. Uh, that's it. So, yeah. That's that's good shot, Just get, get creative with it. It's, uh, yeah, I like it. I also like how it's kind of like, like an like an off center kind of shot like it's almost like i don't know you're dancing with them a little bit you know yeah that was the booze that was no. the booze. yeah it kind of looks like you're, <laughs> i couldn't drink kinda... because that's my cousin getting married oh, that, was my, well, that was my cousin's wedding mm. <laughs> oh, so no. i'm like no i drank after but yeah no doubt that's a, that's a different story <laughs> <laughs> that's another you story for another day huh <laughs> i lost all your photos <laughs> oh, no, i would uh, i would have been dead <laughs> good times uh, i only have one styled bridal shot that i've done if you want i can share it if not oh yeah sure it. okay i'll share it then sure. just because i haven't done any weddings yet they're coming but there you go. All right, let's see. Mm. Cool. A little snow action, eh? Nice. Winter time. One flash Ooh. on her. Yeah. Very nice. Just yeah, a fun cool. shoot. It was cold, yeah. too. Yeah, man. She's a gamer. She's but, going on the cool like that. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, you said she's a gamer? 
Yeah, she's a gamer, man. She goes out in the winter. Uh, We're going out in the cold. It was cold that day. Oh, okay, okay. Mm-hmm. That's what you mean by that. Okay, I was yeah, thinking it literally. No, she's minus. a gamer too. Like, yeah, she, <laughs> we play Fortnite on Thursday night. <laughs> you play Fortnite and you dance with our dead bodies. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh man, that's what they do. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, uh, it's good stuff. Oh, Any else? More, more tips? Um, yes. Any other tips, guys? Any other tips? Um, anyone wants to add anything else? Nothing for me. I just shared a shot. Oh, my bad. Okay, I'll share just with an models. example of a uh, window light. Yeah. Um, and then the details. I like to grab. Yeah like that the little details like that yep. um even the yep. the decorations and stuff i i shoot a lot of decorations because my wife is a decorator yeah and so <laughs> uh, most of the time we are doing the same kind of events um so i gotta try to get her some shots as well um so i shoot a lot of the decorations and stuff as well just trying to get the details um, of the wedding day yeah i like well I like that's a that, that's a whole point the um decorations um you know de- details uh yeah. make time for it as a photographer as well make time for it uh, otherwise it can easily escape you if you don't if you don't plan for it yeah it can easily i think you you need to plan for it like when you get, head out there to shoot you need to have a, a plan that what are the details that i'm going to shoot uh, and one tip maybe i forgot to add when to, when, i guess we just came up um when i'm talking about the details is um the bride right if you have some um, specific items that are really important to you that you are using on that day it's really important that you let the photographer know so that they can capture that as well um one of the things i would say is like you know some families have some family traditions where they have these kind of looms or pins and stuff that has been passed on from generations to generations and stuff like that and you want to point it out so that the photographer doesn't uh, lose track of those things or maybe put a little bit of emphasis on it or make it the point mm. to capture that particular piece as part of some of the details right um as much as i try to focus and give attention maybe at a hotel when i'm doing the prep shots every little chance that i get in between the prep shots i'm focusing and i'm picking out on some of the details that are around uh shoes uh belts um even socks sometimes um you know anything that is customized anything that is you know, of importance, try to bring, highlight those things so that the photographer can be able to focus and highlight those things as part of the day. Yeah, communication is really important. Oh, mm-hmm. nice and now that's my cousin. I shot her wedding. Cool. I had no idea what this venue was like. So we're actually inside with the bridal party. That light on her is actually one of the pot lights coming down wow. in this hallway. So I had her stand there and I had the girls stand back a bit. So they're more in the shadow, just Mm. put the emphasis on her. So sometimes just use what's there and get the shots. Uh, So it works. Don't be afraid. Just shoot. Just do it. So yeah, my two cents. Nice. Good use of the spotlight. Um, Shout out to lights because sometimes they save you. <laughs> so uh, this picture is still, I mean, I'm still editing these yeah. shots. Uh, but sometimes you can also create the moment, okay? Uh, of course, everything is, some things are not culturally appropriate in some, uh, you know, in some parts of the world. Some parts of the world, if someone is dancing and you put dollar bills on them, it means something completely different. Uh, but yeah. in this setting, um, that's what they were doing. And I, I realized that, you know what, he would come with one, two notes and I didn't quite like the, the pictures were okay, but it was just like the one note coming down. So I asked someone to pick up a bunch of the notes on the, on the ground and I gave it to him and I asked him to go through it. And, yeah. you know, 
Uh, I think Rick, I got I got Make so many rain, shots from man. that. He was excited. Everybody was excited. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How much money is there? <laughs> no, that's that's a Nigerian thing. Like I've never been to a Nigerian wedding or event where they oh, don't yeah. throw money on people. Yep. It's if part you of don't throw money on you, you're not important. <laughs> yeah. If you don't throw money on you, you're not important. So <laughs> <laughs> Good times. Oh. Good times. All right. So looks like we are ready for the um awards. You gotta put the link in the public chat. Oh, it's it's gotta be in the comments, not the private chat. Oh the put comments. comments. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, You're the only one Brian? that can post it. So yeah. all right. There you go. There we go. So, so, so do this, Brian? I don't know. Let's see if anyone wants to jump on first. Yeah, does anyone uh, want to jump on first? Meek me oh, just put the link. So me can watch for anyone that wants to jump on. All right, let me I see. I saw Jessica and Pat and Kim, so I don't think. Yeah, the, a bunch of the people were in the in the comments. So, so what we wait? I can minute. quickly bring up the photos again. If I want to know who won. Yes, share the. Photos. You don't know who won? No. Let me, I didn't tell. No, you didn't look. tell me. I went and looked, but I didn't chat. tell. Weird. Okay, so I'm gonna share my screen here. And uh, I need to bring that up. Okay, so you got the photo there? Yep. It's up. Yep, okay, yep, so yep. that was one of our entries. Yes. That was one of our entries. Mm -hmm. That was one of our entries. Mm -hmm. That was an entry. Mm -hmm. That was an entry. Mm -hmm. And that was an entry. Ooh, so yeah. because this was all secret, we'll go back to this yeah. one first. Yeah. This one was submitted by Andre's mother. Yep. <laughs> we, we can now reveal it because the voting wow. is complete. So <laughs> this was actually done Does by Andre's mother. On? Does your mom want to come on, Andre? Probably not. No, I, okay. This one was done by Pat. Good job, Pat. He was in the comments. Pat, do you want to come on? was in the comments earlier. She's in the comments. This one was actually done by my kid. Yeah. Nice. Could used to be the eyes, but better, better than me. Creepy. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Got your jeans, all right. <laughs> this this was obviously Jess. Yep. Yep. Do you want to come on, Jessica? Feel free. Yep. It's there. This was Kim wow. V. That's great. Yeah. Wait, who was this one? Kim, Kim v. v. That's nice. Yeah. Good job. And this one is Kim Simmons. Yeah. Do we have anyone jumping on? Or Nothing should we nobody? just do it? I mean, I think they just want to know who won, I guess, at this point. Okay, so so if I remember I correctly, <laughs> uh, let's just leave should it right there and say it right now, if you want. Okay. This is the winner. This was Kimberly our winner. Simmons. We need some music. <laughs> Nice. Let's <laughs> do so that was uh, our winner. Kim, you want to come on for 30 seconds? This was uh, second place. Yeah, nice. Second place. Right on. Actually, third place. I actually have That's them in order for the weird. for the way they came in. And this yeah. one. And then this one. And then this one. That's the uh, the voting That's order, as good. it were. So this. Congrats to. Oh, oh is that oh, our. Wow. Oh, that's our music? that's our music. <laughs> so anyway, that's uh, good job, people. That's how it went. So really good job. Oh, good job. Kim is so doing fun. some photography. So you're doing some photography right now. So she can't jump on, I guess. Okay. Well, if anybody wants to jump on, we'll give it another minute. Yeah, but... the other Kim, uh, Jess, anyone, just chat. Pat, the link's there if you want to jump on and say hello. And, um, come yeah, on, so people. Don't, don't be shy. Thank, thank you so thank much you for, everyone. for everybody. You can jump on your phone. You. Kim, will get in touch to, to work out how we're going to get you the uh, the prize. Yeah. And uh, there is going to be another challenge coming. Uh, it will not be a contest this time. It's just going to be a fun challenge that we're going to yeah. issue to everyone. You can start Sweet. thinking about it. Uh, it will involve glass. 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 G L A S S. Okay. <laughs> not G R A S S. Yeah. Glass. <laughs> That's not been growing. Yeah. So 
we're going to have some fun with that. It'll be a fun exercise for everybody. And yeah. uh, just another chance to, to show off your creativity. And it, it won't be a contest, but we'd love to get submissions from everyone so we can share them on the show and talk about oh. them on the show and love to have people come on the show and talk about them too. So nice. that'll be coming soon. Cool. Like in September? Yeah, somewhere through September we will uh, yeah. we'll post that one. Just a fun challenge to get everybody involved again. Sweet. My and the, in the future, there will be more contests too. Yeah, we so be, we're going to mix up the challenges and the contests. And yeah, we had a meeting with the marketing department. They're going to support us. Yeah. <laughs> the um, wallets of Von Nickish <laughs> for <laughs> Gucci and the McGowan. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, hey, what can you say? <laughs> um, but yeah, big thanks to everyone that uh, submitted. Yeah, thank you so much, everyone, for joining in yeah, and playing it along. Yeah, it was fun. Um, I think we're going to try a different voting method for the next contest yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah uh, I don't know. Sure. We'll, we'll, we're going to try and figure something out. Evans is on the phone with Pricewaterhouse Cooper, so that's why he has to. Yeah. <laughs> like, is, this, is this on the level? <laughs> Uh, Evan always has an eight thirty call, call yeah. with a client on Wednesdays. Yeah. Always eight thirty too. Eight thirty. It's almost like he thinks the show's going to end on time or something. Yeah. We, uh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, um. But cool. Yeah. Thanks, guys. If, for if no one's going to joke on, thanks, Meeks, yeah. for hosting. I don't uh, see anybody sure. down there. It's yeah, like no. everybody's scared of scared of me or something. Come on, guys. They don't want to. They don't want to come on your channel, man. We're not scary. Come on. Um, I'm a big teddy yeah, bear. Guys, I think next week, I think I'm posting. I think we're going to do best fall spots in the GTA. Nice. So I, I think that's next week. Yeah. Yeah. I'm because it is September 1. Week. Believe it or not, it is September 1. So, uh, you know, falls on its way. So, we're going to go through some great spots. If you're in the Toronto area, if you're outside of. What is fall? What is oh. fall? <laughs> If you don't live in Texas, <laughs> something the real uh, world gets. Yo, let me try to define year, fall for mix. Last fall, year, mix, I got fall is so when you are trying to chase a student. Mm. He jumps over a chair. <laughs> and it falls. You attempt so, to do the same thing and you fall down. <laughs> uh, <laughs> last year, fall. I got so depressed. I was so depressed. I kept asking people, when do the leaves change color? And, you know, oh. my next door neighbor was like, you mean turn brown? It's like, it's like at the end of the season, I know I'm, I mean, like change color from like yellow to orange to, she says, no, it doesn't happen. <laughs> we go from green to brown. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. Unless you yeah. go up to Oklahoma, then there's a little bit of fall. But I got so used to it from Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania falls were like so beautiful. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, so I might have to fly down there to get some pictures. Yeah, man. For mm. four pictures, you don't you don't even have to try. It's like the, the whole atmosphere yeah. is so beautiful. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's bangers everywhere, man. Yeah. Oh yeah. So we'll be going through some like just spots around the Toronto area because yeah. we'll be probably be doing some meetups there too. So for sure. Research it, was, it, Paul, was it two or three was it two or three years ago? Yeah. We went to Elora Elora? Elora, yeah. The fall? Laura's, yeah, yeah. We we went to Elora in October, yeah. It's a great spot. Pretty, yeah. We walked down to the gorge and stuff. It was great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Busy though. Busy. Like it's a pretty busy popular though, spot, yeah. man. Oh yeah. Yeah, I was I was really spot. surprised how busy it is, given how remote it is. No, it's popular. Oh, it's not that remote. Yeah, yeah. But you know, from the GTA going, it's a little you go to yeah, Laura in the summertime, they have the entire downtown close to cars. You park yeah, on the outside wow. and you walk. The entire downtown is shut to cars in the summer. Yeah. It's beautiful. Nice. It's yeah. a great spot to walk around. It is. It is. Yeah. yeah. Maybe we'll go to Laura again. Who knows? Got to do Guelph. We'd love to. Yeah, we'll do Guelph. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, that's for next week. So. Yeah. Stay, Stay tuned, tuned for that. That's all about right. it. Thank you all. <laughs> um, yeah, Meek will eventually add our, dis our channels yeah. to the, the <laughs> description. I did. I added it. I added it 10 oh, minutes wow. into the show. Wow, look yeah, at that guy. I have to make I'm, I'm gonna have to check to make sure they all work though. By yeah, the way, yeah, sure. um <laughs> all of you guys, um any all of you guys have more than a hundred subscribers, right? Yep. Yes. That yes. means that you should all have custom we do YouTube links. We do. We do. I do. 
do. But you know the funny thing? Have... I cannot act. I can only act one person. Well, yeah, you can only act someone if you are over a thousand. But for oh. the so Evans, no, but I... whoever you are acting has to be over a thousand too. Yes, that's why. Whoever yes, you are acting has to be over a thousand. Because whenever I do uh, community posts and stuff, and I'm trying to um, at you guys, I have a hard time. I can't get to it. Yeah. Like I can try everything. Yeah, I can find you guys' name on it. Yeah. Fine, but man. you know what? Fine. I copied the links from Evans. I copied the links from your channel. Mm -hmm. um, and it means we've just been copying links. So uh, we, we're not using the custom uh, links. So if we're able to URLs. get the, the custom URLs, those ones are short enough that uh, when we, we copy and paste, it would work right. instead of... Yeah trying to go to every uh, person's but mine mine has a custom url in there yeah. so mine's right there um, yeah, <laughs> mine's right there too bro yeah, underneath like my like name like, right, right there. <laughs> they're all there <laughs> oh oh yes is right on the screen oh We're Brian's name is Ryan. Screen. oh okay i'm gonna add yeah. the, the customs because i did add the, the red one this is go, turn into go, a youtube go. for beginners class <laughs> <laughs> And, well, and mine, makes, and mine is the same as my name as well, you know? Yeah. <laughs> That's Evermore okay. Media. That's yes. it. Evermore <laughs> Media. Okay. YouTube.com right. slash yeah. Evermore Media. <laughs> All right. Makes Thank you for streams. watching. And you guys stay on for just a second uh, after I close this so that, uh, as usual.